Hi, I'm Jer. Welcome to Kill Devil, where we focus on rum and cocktails. Today we are going to make homemade raspberry syrup. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. In either case, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing here. As always, timestamps are down below if you want to go right to the recipe. Otherwise, here's a little bit of talking. What I normally like to do when I'm making a new syrup recipe is look online, get a lot of different recipes, find out what kind of the core ingredients are, and try to make my own from there. In this case, I'm going to go right to the 12 Bottle Bar by David Salmonson and Leslie Jacob Salmonson because I'm going to be making a cocktail with this raspberry syrup later on from their book, so I wanted to use their ingredients. The first ingredient for this syrup is actually a simple syrup, and they specify a two to one, so a rich simple syrup, and I assume they're using white sugar. So that's what I made, a two to one white sugar simple syrup. And we need a cup of this, and we're gonna put this in a saucepan. One cup is 240 milliliters. And what I'm gonna do with this syrup is take it over the stove and warm it up a little bit. I'm not gonna show you that part, just use a really low temperature and you just want it a little bit warm, just enough so that it can absorb the flavors better. While I'm letting my syrup warm up, I'm gonna take one cup of fresh strawberries. I don't know a good way to do this, can I pour them? I'm gonna put them by hand. I wash my hands. You're gonna to have to trust me on that. And I'm gonna put those into a mixing bowl where I'm gonna muddle them, and the recipe specifies a wooden spoon, I love a wooden spoon, and I'm gonna muddle them gently, just to start breaking them down a little bit. After I've muddled my raspberries, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice, and one teaspoon is five milliliters. I'm gonna mix them a little bit more. Now that my syrup is warm, I'm gonna add that to the raspberries. And I'm gonna mix them a little bit more. Now, to let this mixture sit overnight, we'll see you tomorrow. One good night's sleep later, and we're gonna finish the syrup. I've got my bowl with the infusion going. I think it's called an infusion. I've got my bottle, my funnel, and my strainer. And I'm gonna strain this into the bottle. The recipe does call for cheesecloth. I'm not gonna go for cheesecloth. I'm just gonna let it be as is. I'll be with you in a moment. Now that it's finished straining, seal that up and label it. And I have raspberry, two to one, and today's date is April 11th. This should last about two weeks in the refrigerator. And there you have it, raspberry syrup. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>